Oh, delicious. I know. Hi, everybody. We're back. We are going to make something today with a product we were gifted from Redmond. It is their stainless steel toaster. And what is great about this toaster is it has extra wide um, slots. slots. It's bagels. <laughs> it's got a defrost setting on here. Mm -hmm. And then it's got this, this gauge where it goes from one to seven. And it gives you this cute little chart that tells you how do you like your toast. Mm -hmm. Jane, what are you? I'm gonna think I'm a five. Uh, yeah, five to six. If you're a level one, you're a psycho because that's not even toasted. You might as well just eat bread out of the package. And a level seven, it's a little burnt. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure. The sweet spot is between four like, and six, which is yeah. level five, which is my level. I like it more better. I live in the sweet spot. Okay. What's also great about this toaster is it has this bottom slot that comes out and all the crumbs. Is that for crumbs? Yeah. Isn't that awesome? Yeah, because as a kid, on old style fashion toasters when I was a kid, there was nothing but crumbs in the bottom. Yeah. And, and, my mother never, and you had to like shake it out. Well, they didn't shake out the toaster. Yeah. Those crumbs were added yeah. to the flavor. And then every time you made new toast, it would like burn and burn. Yeah. yeah. And it's cute. It's very retro. Looking. I think it's so adorable, easy to clean. Yeah. All right. So what we're going to make today is a spin on avocado toast. And instead of avocado, we're gonna use pesto because he's Italian. You know, oh. kind of Italian. Hey. Oh. It's something different. John is also gonna show you how to fry the egg properly. And we got the eggs from the farm stand, which I love because some of these eggs have like a bluish green tint. They're, so, They're cute. so cute. Uh, let me just correct it. I'm gonna attempt <laughs> to fry the egg correctly. This is really not a, a Good forte. This is not a forte of mine, frying eggs. We're gonna well, make an attempt. We're gonna try. We just want to note that we wanted to make the pesto homemade. If you want to see how we do that, I'll link a video right here. But our basil wasn't quite ready yet from our garden. But don't despair. We will make some videos this summer with stuff that we're growing because we're growing some new stuff. But anyway, so we're using our favorite from Kirkland. All right, I gotta get, get moving on this. Okay. <laughs> anyway, because I'm burning the pot here. Oh, I'm gonna just put a little bit of butter. Jane bought some kind of fagazi cooking spray that has turned brown in here. Do, do you see what's happening to the uh, cooking it's spray? It's the one we got at Costco. Right, we're gonna crack two eggs, one for each of us. I'm just gonna move to the other side. Oh. One, two. All right. We're gonna put a little bit of water in there. How much would you say? Like a tablespoon, and we're gonna let those steam real quick. And in the meantime, because Jane is not paying attention, we're gonna make the toast. So that the toast is ready when the eggs are ready. Otherwise, we're gonna have a problem. Okay. So what setting did you put the toast on? I put it on four and a half. Four and a half, mm -hmm. okay. And easy peasy, cute little button. Smells good. And they said before you use it to put it down once, which I did before on one, just it's normal to get like a little bit of a smell when it first turns on. I don't smell anything now, and it looks like it's twisting really nice. And it's light. You know, remember the ones from like when you were growing up, they were all like heavy? This one's really light, so. So because we didn't really time this properly, the toast actually should have been done. And I <laughs> want to just take the eggs right from the pan and put them we, on the toast. Well, we gotta put the pesto first. I know, but the eggs are gonna be finished. Okay, so that's frying up. Um, so now we're just waiting for toast to toast. I also want to welcome all my new subscribers. I finally hit 1K. <laughs> Our toast is toasting nicely. I'm very disappointed in the whole egg situation. Why are you disappointed? Because that cooking spray turned brown because it's not pan. It's some generic but the brand, but we're doing videos. We oh, gotta have know. the right stuff. Okay, sorry. We probably won't get gifted another thing again. Yes, we will. This is <laughs> <a> <laughs> that has nothing to do with the toaster. Oh, that looks perfect. Perfect. Ooh. That's good looking toast. Yeah, that is. Look at that. We're gonna spread a little bit of pesto on the toast. Pesto. That Kirkland brand. 
Still my favorite. Mm -hmm. We put that stuff on everything. You're gonna get sued by Frank's Red Hot now. I said stuff. So we're gonna do a little pesto. Mm -hmm. Okay, delicious. Now we're gonna take our egg. Oh, look at that. Look how perfect. Yummy. That looks so, so good. And we're Wait. gonna take a little oh. splash of salt on top of that. Nice. That's it. Oh, that looks so good. All right, now for the moment of truth. Ready, Jane? Mm -hmm. <gasps> ah! I'm gonna get Oh man, look at that. Oh my God, this is so good. I'm not just saying it, but this toast is perfect. I you know, I love my pesto. Wait I don't know if I wouldn't have put all that salt on it though, because oh. the pesto was salt on it. That's my only bite. It's perfect. I not put anything in this egg. This egg is good. And it's cooked to perfection. I want to get to the middle, but I look, don't want to. Look at that. Hold it up close. I did. They saw it. They saw it? They saw it. Did you see it? They know what's going on. Oh. Oh my God. That is delicious. Ah! Even Sammy wants some. Mmm. This is really good. Mmm. So folks, who can make like egg cream pesto? It was my idea. It was my idea. Because I said, all right, ah! avocado. I'm making it Italian. But this is really good. I suggest you try it, and it's simple. Um, even the kids might like it. Wow. Thanks for watching. Listen to me. Make this. That's delicious. And get this toaster. I'm not just saying it. It really is good. I think I want to make a bagel on it next. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mm. I need a stand in for, for this. That's, they have stand in. Yeah, I know. That's why they have them, because this is bananas. <laughs> Right, let's start again. Ready? I don't know why I subject myself. My okay. first day off in 65 days to work, and this is what she's got me doing. Why don't you help me out? Well, okay. you you don't stop talking. Right, but I'm gonna show the picture. I'm gonna jump to B-roll for that. It'd be nice for us to talk about. It. We're gonna talk about it, but while you're talking about it, I'm gonna because this isn't gonna show up good enough. Do you know what I'm saying? Just do it. I had to leave at eight o'clock this morning. It is now one in the afternoon to deliver something all the way out to Montauk. Are you gonna be dead? I'm gonna do the thing. Hey, please, my day. Anyway, go ahead, my darling. Wait a second. Why can't you, when you're talking about that, I can say it comes with this, I can hold it up, say it comes with this great guide, and then you can cut to the big yeah, picture that's what and I was, we can talk about it. That's what I that's So what then I was why saying. can't I hold it up for one okay, second? Yeah, that's what I meant. Yeah. I just wanna start the whole thing again because I just. If we didn't only have two slices of bread in this house, I would have made more. 